Gotcha. Praise the Lord, church. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and delivered him from all of his trouble. Oh, taste and see. Oh, taste and see. Come on, Zion. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. We thank God for this solemn assembly on today. We thank God for seeing another Thursday that we never saw before. I believe and I declare that something good, real good, is getting ready to happen on tonight. Amen. I know something great has already happened to you, Brother Wesley, this morning. But I believe that God has something just in store for you on tonight. He will strengthen where you're weak. He will encourage you where you're discouraged. He will lift up the horn of heart. He will lift up the burdened heart. I decree that God is going to come in tonight and move some furniture around. <laughs> I believe the Spirit of God is getting ready to show up in your life like never before. If you agree with that, can you hop to your feet and clap your hands and give God a hallelujah praise? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. He was wounded, how many remember this? For our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I need you to say that with me. Say, with his stripes. Oh, come on, say it like God has touched your body before. And with his stripes, now say, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. And it is so, and so it is. Hallelujah to God. I shall not be moved, for I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I shall not be moved. Look at somebody say, I shall not. I shall not. Come on, we're going to have our prayer in scripture. I shall not. Come on, you're not saying it like you convinced. Say, I shall not. Come on, Brother Riley. I shall not be moved. I shall be like a tree. Planted by the way, shut up. I feel glory on tonight. I feel like telling the devil, I ain't scared of you. Jeremiah, I feel like telling the devil, I ain't scared of you. Because I got the VIC. Oh, y'all can't spell. I got the VIC. T O R Y. That's spell victory. Can somebody shout victory? Victory. Can somebody shout victory? Victory. Now, I dare you to say it's mine. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Hallelujah it's to mine. God. Amen. To God Amen. be the glory. Amen. We come for deliverance on tonight. How many come to be delivered? Everybody in here should have your hand up. Amen. Amen. We come to be delivered. We come to be set free. Amen. We come for every change that's been holding you back. Look at somebody say, they got the fall tonight. Come on, only you that have come with expectations say they got the fall tonight. They got the fall tonight. And they just won't fall. They're going to be shattered. Because when the anointing, when the spirit of God, when Paracleti comes, Jerry South, they ain't got the chain. I say when God come in, everything that's, oh, y'all don't believe it. Y'all stand there looking like you waiting on a dare queen. No! Oh! I say when the anointing comes in the house, everything is not by God. It got to come subject. Hallelujah to God. Come on, right where you're standing. Can you lift both hands and worship? Come on. Come on, some of you lift your hands all day long. That's it. Look at the mother got her hand up. Look at, I see an usher with her hands up. Come on, lift both hands. Come on, young people. He gave you, come on, lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Can you say something sweet to him about him? Come on, Peyton. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory. The Bible says, and they overcame them by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. At this time, we're going to have prayer. Amen. By Brother Ricky Frazier Jr. Father, in prayer, we'll have our scripture lesson for this morning by Brother Ronald Riley in that order. Jesus. 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 Oh, our way maker. Jesus. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. 
If thou withdrew thy breath from me, wherever shall I go? What did that only son endure before I drew my breath? What pain, what labor to secure my soul from endless stress? Jesus! Jesus! Oh, how I love to call that name! Jesus! Jesus! Oh, he's my lily in the valley! Jesus! My bright and morning star! Jesus! The lily of the valley! Jesus! The alpha and the baby! Jesus! Jesus, Jesus, oh I love that name, Jesus, there's something about that name, there's something about that name, there's power in that name, Jesus, Lord go with us, strengthen us, lead us, guide us, guide us Lord, show us the way, be our way maker Lord, be our way maker Lord, Go with us on this revival, Lord. Help us to be revived, Lord. Help us to be revived, Lord. Open the books of Open the books for us, Lord. Open the books for us, Lord. Jesus! 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 Oh, I love to call that name. Oh, I love to call that name. Somebody know him. Somebody know him. Somebody know him. Somebody know him. Somebody feel it. Somebody feel it. Jesus. Jesus. Should something by that name, church. The power in that name, church. Continue to bless this church in a mighty way. Continue to strengthen us where we are weak. Fill us up where we're torn down. Continue to bless us in a mighty way. Oh, Heavenly Father, we realize that united we stand and divided we fall. That's why we need you, Lord. That's why we need you in the morning and we need you in the midnight hour. It's something about your name that we know there's power in your name. These and all other blessings we stand in your name. Jesus Christ, the Son of a living God. Jesus. Amen. Isaiah in the 61st chapter the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he had sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that moan, to appoint unto them that moan in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the all of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified in Christ. Praise him. Praise him. Come on. Come on. If that's the best you got, come on. Y'all heard that brother break the house down in prayer? Y'all ain't never heard nobody pray like that in your whole life. You, you ain't never heard brother Ricky pray. That. Thank you for that prayer and scripture. Amen. How many ready to go higher, higher, higher? Come on, don't play with it. How many of you are ready? Come on, Jeremiah. Put your hands together. Amen. It's Miracle Boy, Brother Marquise Parliament. Come to lead us in praise and worship.
remember that day. Come on, call it. When you met the Lord. Must be the Lord. When you met the Lord. Must be Lord. So people get happy. Yeah, and they run. Others speak. Unknown tongue. Some cry out. Must be in a spiritual way. We get happy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. What you want, and you get what you got to have. Ain't God all right? Yeah. Truly, God is good. Yeah. Giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. Giving honor to the spirit that's in this house. Yeah. Giving honor to Pastor Farrell, First Lady Farrell. Yeah. Giving honor to the speaker of the hour. Giving honor to all of you in your respectable places. Truly, God has been good. I don't know about you, but God's been good to me. God been good to me. And for that, I can't help but tell him thank you. I don't know about you, but I got so much to thank God for. I got so much to thank God for. They told me I'd never walk. You better tell But I ain't got a right to thank God for. I got so much to thank God for. The question is, what about you? What about you? Y'all come and go with us with this song. Come on, put your hands together. What about you? I got so much to thank God for. What about you? Come on, put your hands together. What about you? What about you? What about you? Oh, what about you? I got so much to thank God for.
told me I never walk. But ain't God alright? I can walk. He told me I never thought. But what a mighty God we serve. I got so much to thank God for. Right now for me. Y'all looking at somebody that the doctor gave up on. They had 15 operations. They stuck me in my back the wrong way 25 times. But thank God I can still move. Thank God I can still move. I got so much. I got so much to thank God for. What about you? What about you? You got a right. He got a right. What has he done? What has he done for you? Has he healed your body? Has he saved your soul? What has the Lord done for you? You ought to tell somebody. Yeah. Come on, son. Yeah. You ought to tell of his goodness. Yeah. You ought to tell of his mercy. Yeah. If God can, if God kept me, I know he'll keep you. Hallelujah. Well, we might as well give God some praise. We might as well give God some praise. We might as well give him what's due to him. We might as well give God what's due to him. We might as well give God what's his. We might as well give God what we owe. We owe him. Back on Calvary. He died for you and me. So let's give God some praise. If you know the man, if you know the man, come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. If you know the man, if you know the man, Come on, stop your feet. Come on, stop your feet. If you know the man, if you know the man, come on, wave your hand. Come on, wave your hand. Come on, wave your hand. If you know the man, if you know the man, come on, show some time. Come on, show some time. Show, 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 show. Show that he's good. Show that he's great. Show that he's there. All up the time. Show, 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 show. Show, 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 show. show, 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 show. for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The three make one. Come on, Zion. If you love him, if you care, give God praise on tonight. I feel an extraordinary anointing. I say I feel an extraordinary move. I feel some strange tonight. And look at somebody say something strange gonna happen. Look at somebody say I might become a millionaire tonight. I might receive my help. She believed it. She believed it. Don't you know God can put money in you? Healing. Healing. Salvation for your family. Come on. Come on. All right, we got to go. 
Amen. I want to do this because I don't know if the MC, amen, he, he, he on fire already. Amen. But I want you to, amen, put your hands together for the speaker, for the pastor for tonight. In our presence of the right reverend, amen, Pastor Kimball Gaines and his leading lady, Evangelist Gaines. Yeah, I said evangelist. Because she ministered to you, don't she? All right, then. She's evangelist. Amen. Amen. And all the other pastors, amen. Put your hands together for Pastor Wright. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. We got a young man coming for Pastor Bernard Scott. I see you over there. You can't hide. Amen. Coming forward this time, we're going to ask, amen, Jeremiah, amen. He's going to come forth, amen, and lead us further in this program. Amen. He is my son, brother-in-law. Amen. His sister married my son. I got a son that's married. Look at the world coming to him. Amen. Amen. So he came all the way from Arkansas to spend time with his sister and, amen, and the family. So I said, well, we're going to put you to work because he's on fire for the Lord. Ain't too many times, Brother Roland, you see young men that love ladies. Ain't too many times you see young men that still love women. And still in love with Jesus. You don't see that much. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. You better open your eyes. Amen. So we're going to bring forth, amen, brother Jeremiah French. Amen. I didn't know your last name was French. Do you speak French? No, sir. Say we, we. We, we. You do not. <laughs> Whatever that means, we, we. Amen. So coming forward, put your hands together as he take us further in the program. We are welcome. We are, I praise God for being here. I'm really thankful for, for my mom and for my lovely sister and for Josh and his family. Now we are welcome for a brother that been in this church for a long time. Um, Wesley, Wesley Pigney. We welcome you. everyone. Welcome to our men's night uh, spring revival. Not only on this occasion, on our second, third, and fourth Sundays, our door is always open. As you look behind me, we have three words that we stand by. It's unmovable, unbreakable, and unbothered. With Jesus, we're going to be unbothered. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, I need everyone's participation when I do this, and especially the men. So if I can get everyone to stand when I make this announcement, then you'll see where I'm coming from. So let's give Jesus a hand. Uh. Now, we're going to step it up a little bit further. Get ready to rumble! Yeah! Hallelujah! That's what we're going to do in this place tonight. We're going to rumble. We're going to take it down, and we're going to have a wonderful time. Thank you. How many y'all ready for the offering? The ties and offering. Are we ready? We're going to ask the deacon for the collection. Brother Herbert. Praise the Lord, everybody. 
Praise the Lord, everybody. I said, praise the Lord, everybody. We come to give God the glory tonight. We come and give him the praise. Go ahead and set your mind to give on tonight. God going to bless you if you be faithful in your giving, if you be faithful in your 10% that belongs unto him and not unto man. We give God the glory. I thank God that I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I rejoice in the Lord. Oh, ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. We give God the glory for this night. Prepare your minds, hearts, and souls to give as the ushers come around and receive your offering. In Jesus' name, we'll have a, salon, a song. Three ways to give. Dollar sign, Mount Pisgah, Clio. Givelify, Mount Pisgah Independent Methodist Church. Or you can mail it in, P.O. Box 5, Clio, Georgia, 31. 303 in Jesus name
We pray that you gave cheerfully and not grudgingly. I pray that God will continue to bless his people. I pray that you will continue to be faithful in your walk and your calling with God. God will bless you when you live right, especially when you obey the word. I can give you testimonies at the testimony how God has blessed me within my years of living holy. Having the Holy Ghost, the willing in the word, fasting and praying. I can give you testimony at the testimony. But I thank God for the job that he has blessed me with, to be a driver trainer on my job. I thank God for the 20, hashi, glory. I thank God for the 23 souls that sat on the opposite side of me in my truck. The 23 souls. I thank God for being able to witness to some and to some just to plant seeds and to some just let them have their way. God will place you in position. But are you willing and able to do the work and the will that he has called you to be? We pray for holy boldness, but when we... Are we doing the boldness work? We can't be ashamed to give our testimony. We can't be ashamed to let that person know that I live by the Bible. I have the Holy Ghost. I dwell in the presence of God. Can we stand? Christ Jesus, our Savior. Christ, we tell you, we thank you for this day that you have blessed us with. Father, we tell you, we thank you for the communion of this night, God, to fellowship with our brothers and our sisters. Christ, we tell you, we thank you. We thank you for the hearts that gave on tonight. Father, we pray, God, that you will continue, God, to open up doors that no man can open, close doors that no man can open, open doors that no man can close. Father, we tell you, we thank you for this season, God, that you are opening, oh Lord, the blessings upon thy people. Father, continue, God, to bless us with the substance that we are needing, God, to provide for our whole household. You said if a man don't work, he don't eat, calling them busybodies. But Lord, continue, God, to place us in that position, God, to work, oh Lord, and to provide for our families in Jesus' name. Lord, we just want to tell you, we thank you. Lord, we want to tell you, we thank you for our benefits being within you and the benefits that we receive from you in Jesus name continue to be Jehovah Jireh our provider in Jesus match this name we will always and continue to pray amen amen and amen amen now we will have our greetings by Pastor Scott and Pastor White again come on say amen one more time come on give the Lord a hand break well I'll take that one amen I'll take that hand praise but the Bible said in all things give thanks we thank God amen for being here on tonight we thank God for being saved sanctified Holy Ghost filled and five baptized got one mind that's a mind to do right live right and glorify the Lord. We thank God, amen, for this great man of God, amen, Pastor Pharaoh, amen, Lady Pharaoh. We thank God, amen, for, amen, the preach man for tonight. Amen, not a speaker because we're not at the White House. Amen, we thank God for the preacher on tonight, Pastor Kimball Gaines. Amen. And First Lady Gaines. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For Pastor Wright. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For my wife and her absence. And we thank God for being here. Amen. Amen. I was looking forward for tonight. I got my bucket out. And there ain't no hole in it. Hallelujah. I need a word on tonight. Amen. We are at Bearsville Missionary Baptist Church. We're glad to be invited. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For some of the members here. We thank God for just your invitation. Amen. When you need us, just let us know. Amen. Preacher, preach me happy.
Now we may have Pastor White. White, y'all know me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's time to praise the Lord. It's time to lift him up. Y'all messing with me. Y'all messing with me. Glory to your name, Lord. For he is worthy. He is worthy. The Lord is worthy. Introduction speaker by co pastor Gabe's. So I'm gonna write. Amen. 
Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. God will not let us down. We came with great expectations on tonight. God is going to use the man of God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I tell you, there's some praising people up in here. I give God praise and honor, amen, hallelujah, for the shepherd of this house, amen, Elder Farah. For First Lady Ed Farah, amen, we give God praise for you, God. We give God praise for every pastor, every missionary, every minister, every evangelist. We give God praise for everyone that's in the house on today. I know without a shadow of a doubt that the man of God is ready to deliver what God has given him on today. He comes with a right now word for a right now people. We give God praise for this prayer warrior, a man that sings, that's a songwriter, that's a prophet in his own right, that's an evangelist, a prophet into the nation. We give God praise for him, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Immediately after the, far, after the choir, the next voice that you will hear will be that of the founder and pastor of the Greater Works Family Life Center in Springfield, Georgia, in the person of Pastor Kimball Gaines, a man with the word for tonight, after the choir. The choir. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Exceedingly and abundantly above all all you could ask or think according to the powers that work in you able to do what he just said he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able tonight you ought to stand on your feet and declare it come on and sing God is able to do just what he said he's gonna fulfill You mean it? Let's make a death real man up in here. God is able. God is able to do just what He said. He's gonna fulfill. Don't you give up?
Cause he won't give up on you Come on and say Don't give up on God Cause he won't give up on you Hey, don't give up Don't, don't give up on God Cause he won't give up on you Come on and let it settle in your spirit Don't give up Sing it to that lady in the back. Say, don't give up. Jesus on tonight have you tried the heart fixer on tonight have you tried the mind regulator on tonight he'll be a friend that won't tell nobody when you're motherless he'll be a mother for you that's why I can't give up on God He never gave up on me. In spite of my wrongdoing, God never gave up on me. In spite of my mistake, God never gave up on me. Oh, yeah. Oh, In spite of my sin, God never gave Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Even when I didn't deserve it. God never gave up on me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, glory. Glory. There's a strange anointing in here tonight. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Glory. I need 
some prayer warriors Hallelujah. that know how to reach heaven on tonight. Yeah, yeah. I need some people that knows how to get next to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Sister Betty, I want you to bring your mom down here. Oh, yeah. Shandoro. Shandarabahasa. Glory, yeah. Can we get her down here? Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. I want to sit here in this chair. We praise your name, Lord. You all of the glory. We bless your name, Jesus. We praise your Lord. Just sit her right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. We love you, Jesus. I'm just going to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Is that all right? How many of you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ on tonight? Do we have anybody in the house that don't believe in Jesus? I need to see your hand. Glory to God. I'm looking. Glory to God. Everybody here believe in Jesus, right? Bless your name, Jesus. That means that God has done something for each and every one of us. Glory. We have a debt with God that we cannot repay. Is that right? Everybody feel the same way I do? Yeah. And on top of that, God is still blessing. Is yes. that right? Yes, yes. Glory. Glory, glory. We got to let that sizzle in your spirit. Mama, get ready for a miracle in your life. Hallelujah. Get ready for a miracle in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I need some connection with some folks that knows the Lord on tonight. Y'all stay in the spirit with me. We going higher tonight. We going someplace that you've never been before tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, Just for a Jesus. few minutes, let, let the devil know uh, this is not the place for you. Bless your name, Jesus. We Father, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. we thank you for your goodness. Yeah. Most of all, we thank you for your presence. Wonderful thank you for salvation that made us free tonight. Yes, Lord. We believe in your favor on tonight. We believe in your supernatural power on tonight. We believe in your miracle working power tonight. We believe in your healing power yes, on tonight. Father, we ask now that you disperse angels. Let them flow down from heaven to earth. Let them make this atmosphere conducive for your use. We command every spirit that's not like God to exit the place right now. Yes, Lord. We cast it into the sea. Glory to God. We cast it into the hell. Yes. Back where it came from. Every witchcraft work we command you to leave now. Every spirit that's not like God. We take authority over it right now. Father, have your way in this place. This is your house. Have your way. We are willing vessels before you. And Father, we're going to give you praise, honor, and glory as you do it for us on tonight. Move by your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory now. We praise you in advance. Your credit is good with us. You have shown yourself. You have proven yourself to be trustworthy. You're a faithful God. Yes. Thank you. Thank God Lord. for being mindful of us. Yes. And we bless your holy name. Bless you. As you do it for us, yes, Lord. we're going to praise you. We're going to glorify you. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus. it is so. Yes. Every believer, put your hands together right now. Hallelujah.
the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Just want to thank the Lord tonight for such a great opportunity to be in the presence of the Lord. To come together with my friend and my brother. Glory to God. And I thank God for I understand that we don't say that word lightly. Glory to God. But I've seen this man many times before I came into the calling of a pastor. Hallelujah. Very energetic. Glory to God. Never changed. Always the same. Proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the kind of person that I like to be around. Because I know if I can't get a prayer through, I can call him. And he'll help me pray through. But I thank God, would you help me give God a thunderous praise for the shepherd of this house in the person of Pastor Jonathan Farrell. Esha, First Lady Farrell. Oh yes, oh yes. Hallelujah. Sir, it's an honor to stand with you on today. I praise the Lord for my family, for my friends. I tell you, I have to thank God for these guys. We came up together in the same house. I don't know. I think if I had $20 for every time my mama sent me over to my house to borrow a cup of sugar or flour, I think I'd be rich today. But these guys, we grew up in a place where we grew up as brothers. Our moms were sisters, and the way they raised us, they raised us like brothers. What, well, in the old days, we didn't always have money to go to the store and buy clothes. So Emma would, when class outgrew his clothes, he would hand it down to me. To me, that was a brand new suit. I wrote, wore that thing with pride. I ain't never had nothing like that. In fact, when I saw it on him, I liked it. People today think hand-me-downs is something bad, but that was a good thing back in the day. But I thank God for my cousin, my cousin slash brothers, Pastor Clayton Wright. Hallelujah. Pastor McNeil Wright. <laughs> Minister of Music, Deacon Clance Wright. And then, Ella Farrah, God gave me, God told me since the last time you saw me, since the last time y'all came to the church in Pula, he was going to send workers to the vineyard. He said the things that I would do and I wouldn't have to do it anymore. Me and my wife, we were there in the church and I'm looking at all the seats and, and there ain't no, nobody in the pews but my grandson running around daughter come every now and then glad to see your face show up every now and then but since then the Lord has blessed us all the way from North Carolina <laughs> he sent help in fact moved down here my baby sister minister elect Amelia Gaines her husband, Ella Leonard Walker. He's our church administrator. I have some prayer warrior sisters that just won't leave the church from praying. Glory to God. Tan down the wall. And when you come into the house of the Lord in Springfield, Georgia, I promise you, you're going to feel a love that you never felt before. Because the Lord is the only one that knows how to love you just right. And these women, they prayed so hard, the devil got so mad until he allowed the pan, glory to God, up in the roof of the church to saturate, glory to God, the ceiling. And my only sister was in the church by herself praying, and all of a sudden, the ceiling caved in. Hallelujah. Stand up, older sister. Where my older sister at? There she go. Hallelujah. The devil tried to run her out of there. <laughs> but it didn't work. It didn't work. 
In fact, it made it worse. My deacon ran off back there. I got some deacons, man. Stand up, deep. <laughs> this is my brother-in-law, Deacon Michael. This is Deanna, uh, Evangelist Deanna's husband. Glory to God. That young man that's in the back is my best friend. I want to take the time to tell you because... This is how the Lord blessed me. I'm, I'm telling you this for a reason, and we'll, we'll talk about it shortly. He, I didn't know where God wanted me to go, but I knew Pula wasn't the only place. So we were looking for a church. Everything was so expensive. It was just me and my wife. I got a mortgage and a few cars and all that stuff to pay for. So getting a church right now, no, Lord, wait a minute now. If you're going to get me a church now, you got to ante up. You got to give me some money. I don't mind working, but I need some money. And I don't want no money, whoa. I, did, I told him just like that. I told him what I wanted. Say, if you want me to work, I'll work. But give me what I need to work with. So the Lord sent me my best friend. Not only did he prophesy to me in my living room and told me, the Lord is calling you to be a pastor. But he also told me, he said, and I'm going to help you. I didn't know what the Lord was doing, but when I accepted the call, and to fast forward a little past Pooler, he, his mom say, Randolph, you reckon Kim will want this church over here? <laughs> oh my God. Just like that. What I was paying over there, I pay over there. That's the hand of God on your life. So, I needed some more people, glory to God, to work. He, he sent me this lady here. You, you know she's a fireball. Praise and worship leader, drum beater, preacher, teacher, reacher. I'm talking about my funny sister. We know every family got a witty person in it. I'm talking about Evangelist One Bullet. Evangelist Core Game. Stand, baby. God is so good. But he didn't stop there. There, there are more saints. They're just not here today. But we thank God for our leader in the person of Bishop B. Michael Burney of Macon, Georgia. He's our covering. Hallelujah. But I thank God most of all for my wife. She stood by me when, when there was just she and I. She was my amen corner. She was my go ahead, baby. You can do it. When I felt like it was useless, she was right there. You ready? You getting ready? I had to put my clothes on. We're going to this church. Ain't nobody here but the chairs. God gave me a message that I had to deliver. We kept on going. <laughs> Woo! Right now, the Lord is moving so fast for us. Till it's, it's amazing when God start moving stuff and doing stuff. All of the tiredness and all of the worries and all of the pressure of having to do everything. I just sit back. My administrator called me and said, this all right. Is that all right? All I have to do is say, I saw this and I, I want to do this. And the next thing you know, the, the next day, he's sending something. Check your email. See if this approvable. This is the hand of God. Not only that, I didn't have no musicians. You know, my sister beat drums. I beat drums. I ain't no keyboard player. But the Lord blessed me with somebody that gets up a little extra early in the morning to make sure that I got a little 
something to dance off of. You know, it feels a little good. If I had to dance by myself, I couldn't hardly get it. Hit that note again. I can do that right. I can do that just right. Glory to God. Deacon Clance Wright come by early in the morning before he go to his church, stop by my church to make sure we get a jump start and then he tip on out the door and go to his church. so good right now I just I just had to share that with you to let you know we are but I wanted you uh, say this for last but God say do it now would you come stand for me he gave me a dream the other day and there were you and I standing there and another gentleman right beside you and we were running revival together. And the Lord spoke to me and says, now it's time for y'all to take over Effingham County. When I looked at the other person, I, I couldn't see nothing but the silhouette person. And he was about my size and all, and I was trying to figure out, and I said, that looked like my brother. And the Lord said, no, that's not your brother. And I began to look and look, and I could not see who the other person was. And the Lord said, wait on me. But I wanted to tell you tonight, just as I whispered in your ear earlier, I see some of the supernatural movings of God in here like it's in my church. The Lord says that we have kindred spirits. And that when we operate together, we're going to put the devil out of business. Now, it takes men of faith. It takes men that mean business for the Lord. We don't have time for foolishness. We don't have time for mishaps. We don't have time to keep wiping nose and being crybaby. We're raising up an army that's undeniable. I want y'all to know that God has given us the power to do what we need to do. Now, we're not going to be able to do it by ourselves. So some of y'all have got to mature. Come on now. Some of y'all got to mature and grow up. Glory to God. You've been fighting the same demons all this time and you ain't caught it yet. God is not going to let them demons overtake you. He got an assignment for you to do. So when you get yourself in a position where you are mature enough to understand what salvation is about and leave the little petty sins alone, then God can raise you up. Then you can understand the place that God is calling you to. But tonight, sir, I just want you to know, hey, Shy, that the word of the Lord is in you. And as we go forth, God is going to do the work through us. But I want to stay together because as soon as God revealed this third person to me, there's going to be a revival unlike any other that's going to break out. We're going to have the knowledge and the wisdom on how to draw the people from the north, east, south, and the west of Effingham County. When they come to my church, they might as well be in yours. I'm not talking about these recycling saints that hop from church to church. I'm talking about people that never stopped in like the man that sent money to the church because somebody was coming in to the church. It's happening to me. My job, they come and put an offering in my hand and say, put that in the offering plate. Never step foot in the door. But I come to let you know tonight, sir, that you're doing a good work. You have made a change in Clio, Georgia. Woo! Get ready, 
hear my brother? We got a job to do, but we're going to be in touch. Glory to God. I don't have a long message tonight. Would you briefly get your Bibles? Hallelujah. I want to share this word with you. Hallelujah, that the Lord gave me. Hallelujah. Ella Walker, would you get me Romans, the 12th chapter? Beginning at the first verse. And I just want to read verse 1 and 2. Hallelujah. You have it? Go ahead and read it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Holy, acceptable unto God, uh -huh. which is your reasonable service. Uh huh. And be not conformed to this world. Yes. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is thy reasonable service, meaning that it's the least you can do. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of what? By the renewing of what? By the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable will of God. Tonight, I want to speak from the topic. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Now, if you think about it, everything that's ever been created, everything that's ever been invented, everything that's ever been built, everything that's ever been assembled, it all th started with a thought in somebody's mind. A simple thought in somebody's mind. When you think about the automobile, and before then we had the horse and the buggies. Somebody probably didn't have a horse, and all they had was a buggy. So therefore, they had to figure out how to make this buggy move without the horse. Well, it all started with a thought in somebody's mind. It doesn't matter how you break it down. From the invention to invention to invention, it came with a mere thought in somebody's mind. Now, are y'all with me? Now, Proverbs 23 and 7 says, For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Meaning that your thoughts and the inclinations of your heart, it creates who you are. It molds your thinking. Uh-huh. It controls your thinking. Glory to God. And it causes you to have a heart of truth. Because when you really want something or really want to become something, it's in here. And the Bible says, from the heart flows what is inside through the mouth. Glory to God. So, therefore... We have to understand this concept. Whatever the eye see, whatever the ears hear, the mind will believe. Let me say that again. Whatever the eye see and the ears hear, the mind will believe. Y'all with me on that? Now, 
one thing we got to understand about the mind. It's an important part of our anatomy. God designed it uh, for it to be special. Now, the thing about the mind is the Bible declares that the mind is enmity against God. That word enmity means hostile. And the reason why it's hostile is because God is not the only one that has access to your mind. God dropped thoughts into your mind. Satan dropped thoughts into your mind. And then you have your own thoughts. So therefore, a lot of times we get in trouble because we get confused about whether God is speaking to us or whether it's Satan. Satan is very tricky. He can sound like God. He can act like God. And he can drop thoughts like God. But then when we act on them, that's when the problem come into play. Now, the Bible says that the mind is the doorway to the spirit. And so once you have a thought and you accept that thought, then the doorway your spirit opens up. And in goes whatever the thought was into your spirit. Once it gets into your spirit, then it becomes a part of you. This is how drug addicts get hung up on drugs. This is how uh, alcoholic demons get hung up on alcohol. This is how uh, people get messed up with all kind of crazy habits and have, having these murdering spirits and all, all of it comes with a thought in your mind. It's vitally important that you understand the word of God when it says, put on the whole armor of God. He says, definitely put on the helmet of salvation. That helmet will protect your mind from the devil speaking to you. But we as Christians of God got to understand what God is saying here in the word. Paul says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. That means things that you normally and ordinarily do, sometimes you cannot do. Because you forfeit that right and gave it to God so that God can use it as he see fit. How many times you wanted to eat and someone called a fast. But because you want to be obedient unto the Lord, you forsake your food and you go ahead and fast. The blessing is in the obedience. It's in the obedience and when you sacrifice, it makes it possible for the Lord to do what he wants to do. Many people are sick today. Not all of them, but many are sick and weak. Many are, are church hoppers and many are, are, are church members that come every now and then. Many don't want, they know God is pulling them, but they don't want to come to the forefront. It's time that you realize what time we are living in. We're living in a time where it's going to take all of us collectively to put the devil out. The devil has gotten so bold now that the murdering spirits are entering into the door. But it's time for us to realize we still have the power to put the devil out. We can declare God's glory upon this property and even though the devil will to come in, he cannot come in here. Glory to God, do I have any witness here? I want y'all to know huh, that there's a crisis going on in the world. And all of the people of the world are panicking and frantiking. Huh? But I come to tell somebody tonight, huh? remember that we are not of this world. The Bible declares that we are just pilgrims passing through. And because the prices are high in the world, it's all right with me because I don't live here anyway. I'm going to pay the high price gas and I'm going to keep on riding. I'm going to pay the high food costs and I'm going to keep on eating. Because I understand that trouble is not going to last always. Something is going to have to change in this world. But my God say, if he went away to prepare a place for us. Uh, you see, this place is not my own. Uh, it's not my house. Uh, somebody said the other day, uh, and I shared it with my church. Uh, 
that so the world uh, need the church to wake up. Uh, they need the church to come alive. Uh, but I come to tell somebody the church ain't dead. Uh, the church is alive. Uh, that anointing that we feel tonight uh, is the same anointing that's been here for a while. Uh, it ain't going nowhere. Uh, but they want an answer from the world. Uh, but I come to let you know uh, that Christ is the answer. Uh, he has the answer. Uh, someone say, well, why don't he just go ahead and make things right? Uh, why don't y'all pray? Uh, it sounds like to me uh, that people want the blessings, uh, but they don't want the blesser. Uh, as long as he step in and make everything good, uh, they all right with that. Uh, they'll give the church a high five. Uh, but when it comes down to what God called for, God said, if my people who are called by my name would armor themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, he said, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I'll heal the land. But I come to let you know it's going to take us turning away from what God says he don't like. Don't you know that there's a people out there uh, that's contemplating on getting rid uh, of the thought of church being saved, sanctified, uh, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, we were watching on Facebook, I believe it was, uh, a group of men uh, going from church to church uh, out in the parking lot, uh, picking out stuff. Uh, about the church your pastor shouldn't shave your pastor shouldn't have a bald head all kind of little nitpicking stuff but I come to tell you I ain't got time to argue with them I ain't got time to debate no bible this time is winding up I gotta get myself together the best that I know how and that way is to hold on to God's unchanging hand all I know uh, is that I'm glad that I'm saved. Uh, I'm glad that God set me free. Uh, and I know that something is different uh, because when I, at a time when I should have messed up, uh, I looked at it and say, uh, that's not for me. Uh, I'm saved, sanctified. Uh, Holy Ghost filled. Uh, fire baptized. Uh, and I'm running for the Lord. Uh, and I can't stop now. You got to make up in your mind, church, that we're not conforming to the swirl. We're not getting mad because the world system is flipped upside down. I'm not mad about the pandemic. In fact, I'm glad that it came because all it did was bring everything down low. Everything was level out. It didn't matter if you had money or not. It didn't have matter if you had a name in lights or not. It brought everybody down to the same level. If you went out and mingled with the wrong person, you got sick. If you went this way, it doesn't matter how much money you had. You got sick. Glory to God, so everything had to shut down under the power and the anointing of God. Because if he wanted you dead, you'd have been done gone. But he held us here for a purpose, to let us know huh? right in the midst of the storm, right in the midst of the trouble, right in the midst of the pandemic, right in the midst of being sick, right in the midst of being broke, right in the midst of looking to the left and to the right, he's still on the throne. He still got all power in his hand. If you believe it, shout yeah. Paul makes a bold statement to all of the Christians. He said, I beseech you, brother. That means I'm urgently calling you. I need to encourage you real quick. He said, be not conformed to this world. We got to be careful how we look at the world now. Because if we don't, it will consume our thinking. It will cause you to look at gloom and doom. God say he is still on the throne. He still have all power. He's still in the saving business. He's still in the healing business. He still knows how to turn things around. He still know how to order your steps. He's still working miracles. Anybody need a miracle? On
But one thing you got to do, <laughs> you got to get your mind right. The devil will speak to your mind and tell you about your bills. Tell you how much debt you're in. Tell you you can't afford to do this. You can't afford to do that. My wife told me the other day. <laughs> My Lord. All right, wife. I got to tell it. We were planning vacation. Lord, I need a vacation. And she told me, baby, we might better wait. Something big coming again. I said to myself, okay, let me see where this is going. She said, yeah, they're saying, talking about something else big coming. And we're going to need to save money. We're going to need to do all these things. And I listened to her. I said, baby, yeah. Okay, no problem. We'll watch our spending. I said, but we already planned this trip. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go on the trip. And um, you, you can stay back and save the money. Well, she sent me the email to the itinerary. I saw both our name on it. That gave me the answer. Glory to God. I ain't letting <laughs> nothing in this world stop me from enjoying what God has set up for me to enjoy. I done labored. I done preached. I done prayed, I done broke through the walls, I done put the devil on the run, I done caused somebody to give their life, now it's time for me to take a break and then come back and fight. If the devil think I'm going to get scared and run back and not go on this vacation, the devil is a liar. I'm not governed by the world system. In fact, the world system don't work for me. It never did work for me. I tried to do it the world system way. It didn't work. All of the taxes I paid in. I look back at all of the insurance I paid. Ain't never been sick five, six years. Where all that money? I told my wife, we should at least get half of that money back. All them thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars paid in the insurance and ain't nobody got sick. Ain't nobody doing nothing but paying money. If I ain't sick, give me my money back. By now they done made enough money that if you did get sick, you done paid in enough to cover everything. Over the course of 30 years I worked paying all that insurance well over a million dollars. It'll pay for a leg or something. But that's the world system. It don't work for me. When I got sick, I called on Jesus. When I needed a healing, I called on Jesus. When I got the COVID virus, I called on Jesus. I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't wait for somebody else. The only thing I look to every day is my wife coming to the door, all masked down, slide my food in there, and slam the door shut. My God is a healer. My God is a deliverer. He's a way maker. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. Anybody tried him? Have you tried Jesus? Have you tried Jesus? Have you tried? Case in point here. It's a simple concept. And it all starts in your mind. The Bible say you got to have your not mind renewed. That means the way you used to think, you cannot think that way anymore. The things that you used to do, you can't do it no more. This is where the church is right now.
Because people should be coming in and getting healed and going back out. Habits has to fall off of folks because of the anointing of God that's prevalent in the atmosphere. Anybody feel Jesus right now? I don't know about y'all. I don't know if you got problems. I don't know if your situations are bad. But I come to tell you tonight, I ain't studying the doctor's report. But I want to ask you a question. Whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the report of the doctor? My brother here, he's a witness of what God can do. He's a witness of how God can bring you out. My sister here, when she was young, she was born with some issues. Well, long story short, she got sick unto death. They had to fly her to Augusta. I remember them having to put tubes in her side. When she used to eat corn and those hard vegetables, they used to come out her side. Well, one day, my sister died. The doctor called my mother from Augusta and told her, I got some bad news. My, your daughter, she's dead. My mama told the doctor, don't touch her. Leave her where she is. I'm on my way. I remember my mama's testimony. She said while she was on her way to Augusta, Georgia, she began to make a covenant with the Lord. She said if you heal my daughter, when I get there, I'm going to serve you for the balance of my days. Well, the doctor didn't even check no more. They done washed up, cleaned up the tools. They done gone back to their daily way. When my mama arrived, she was like Jesus said, show me where her body lies. Well, when they got to a room, they saw the curtain uh, kicking back and forth. Uh, when they pull the curtain back, uh, there she was sitting on the side of the bed. <laughs> Whose report are you going to believe? Will you be strong enough to forsake death? Will you be strong enough to stare death in the eye and let it know uh, it's not going to take me until God says so. That ain't enough, y'all. I want to let you know that he attacked my other sister. I got a call saying that my sister had cancer. Didn't know how it happened. All we know is that she went in for one observation and when they had to do an operation on her they found something in the back hiding behind something the doctor didn't want to alarm her but he said he think it's cancer but he said don't worry I think we can handle this one well they told me about it my apostle told me she said God is sending you on an assignment to your sister in North Carolina well when I got to the hospital on my way I prayed before we left we prayed we believed the report of the Lord oh yes it was cancer well they went on ahead and did the operation and once they did it my daughter, my sister was healed glory to God they took it away all I know is when I got there the work was already done she was sitting in a chair y'all with her stomach cut wide open she was walking around with the little bag thing the, the, whatever that thing is y'all know what I'm talking about I V I P I K, whatever it is. She was walking around with it, with her stomach cut wide open. Don't tell me God don't know how to heal your body. He made you. He knows who you are. He knows what's best for you. He knows how to heal you. He knows how to deliver you. He knows how to set you. Can 
I tell y'all one more? Not long ago, <laughs> the devil decided to show up again. This time, <laughs> he tried to take my brother-in-law. Yeah, he had congested heart failure. Somebody that he knew, or I knew, or somebody that was talking about they had it. They died. I told the church the devil is alive. He ain't going no way. We begin to band together. We met at the church so that we can pray. We believe God. Long story short, when they found out how to get rid of it, glory to God, he should have been gone already. But I want to let you know that he's still here and he don't have no congested heart failure. the benefits of serving God. Now let me tell y'all something. And I'm coming to a close right now. It's high time you understand that the Lord is not slack concerning his promises. If you live right there's some things that's in your life you got to get across in order to get in line and in position for your blessing. You're not going to get there from where you are. Because if you could, you would be there now. But God say, when you get to that place, that enough is enough. I ain't taking this sickness no more. I ain't being broke no more. I'm not going down no more. That's when God say, okay, you done stepped across. Now I'm going to anoint you so that you can take the reins and move right on past the devil right into your healing how many of you believe it everybody stand up a wave of the anointing in this place Woo! it's already done started healing somebody in here somebody already done accept the fact that I ain't got to be sick God says he was whipped with many stripes for my healing why am I still sick I see some others that have condition but just because that you got the condition mean that the condition got you God says I'm known for letting you live with what other people died from mama although <laughs> you in a wheelchair right now that don't dictate your end if you serve the Lord Jesus Christ that I serve God is able to preserve you past your expectation. Hallelujah. I just believe the Lord. I've seen it happen so many times. First day on the job as a pastor. The apostle was out of town. He didn't have a good time in church. I called for a prayer line and it was down the aisle. When I got almost to the end, one of the members called me. <laughs> there was this mother on the front seat. She had them checked out. Now, I'm not one that like to deal with the dead. You know, I would have called for you. You know about them dead people. I don't want to touch them, Harley. If they move, it'll do something to me. But mama had them checked out. 
slid down in the chair. They had her by the wrist, no pulse. First day on the job. I wanted to quit. Something down on the inside of me. I got mad. And I went and grabbed her hand. I remember the scripture says, if sick be among you, call for the elders of the church. So we begin to get gather around mother. And we begin to pray the prayer of faith. I begin to rebuke the devil. I begin to rebuke that death angel. I begin to tell it, you got to get up out of here. I'm not taking this. I'm not scared of you. I'm not going to let mother go. I plead the blood of Jesus against her. All of a sudden, I felt mother squeezing my hand. I told her, mother, begin to tell God thank you. First day on the job, dead went dead. But I call life back into those bodies. The lady jumped up. When first church was out, she was walking the floor, giving God the glory. I'm telling y'all this because the God we serve is a supernatural God. That means the carnal thing, the carnal way, is not going to work. But when you do it through God, through the Lord Jesus Christ, we are mighty through God. Through God, I have power. I can lay hands on the sick, and it got to recover. I can put the devil on the flight. Because I got the power and the anointing of God on the inside. But get this. Every one of you that have accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, we share that same power. All you got to do is have faith to believe that God is a healer. That he's a deliverer. That he is a way maker. A provider, he'll meet you at the point of your need. Do I have anybody in the house? Bring mother here. Hallelujah.
live. She shall live. She shall live. We speak life into her life. She shall live. Come on in this house. Come on in this house. Come on in this house. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and give God a hand of praise. Come on and give God a hand of praise. Come on and praise him, y'all. How you feel, Mama? Great. <laughs> you feel great. You feel alive. Yeah. You can't go. God ain't finished with you yet. He ain't finished with you. But you know, we pray for a lot of things for other people. But it's up to the person. It's between you and God. So you can tell God, I'm not ready to go yet. I need activities and the use of my limb God just tell him and watch God work for you the Bible says we have not because we ask not ask him for it hey ask him for it and he'll give it to you Ooh. you believe that you believe that tonight our faith is with you we're not going to quit praying for you we're not going to quit praying for you. When I go back to my church, we're going to put your name in our prayer diary. Glory to God. And we're going to pray for you every service, every Bible study night. We're going to pray for you. We want you to be healed as much as you want to be healed. Is that all right? Amen. Come on, somebody. I want anybody, hey baby, cha. I feel a healing anointing in here. If you have an ailment in your body, I want you to come down here. We want to agree with you in prayer. Uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Oh yes. I know you're here. I know you're here. There's no reason for you to serve God and be in pain. The Lord showed me your face before I came here all week long. All week long. I don't know where you are in God, but seem like the devil put up a blinder. And it seems like it scrambles your understanding. You want to do more for God, but sometimes you get confused on uh, how to do this thing. But just like the words say, you have to be renewed. Your mind has to be renewed. If you think the same old way, you're going to get the same old results. If you know God in a greater way, think in a greater way. It calls God to move closer to your situation. I don't know why, but he spoke to me all week long about you. Julia, Julia. Every day I got up, I saw your face. Julia, I laid down the day my wife, I tell you, I couldn't rest all day long. I was up since 2 o'clock last night. I got a couple of hours, got up, restless. Went outside, washed the truck, washed the car. Come back inside, tried to lay down, took a shower. Restless. There's anointing in here tonight that can set your soul free. If you want more from God, it's here for you, and it's free of charge. 
You don't, it don't cost you nothing but to think different. You can have what God says you can have. If it's something you don't understand, you got a pastor that can break it all the way down that your baby niece can understand. You can do it. God is calling you to a greater work, ma'am. He's calling you to a greater work. You've been, I see this yearning in you for a long time. You've been wanting this for a long time, but you just never really knew how to get where you can take a step into it. God spoke this to me, yeah, am I right? This word is for you. <laughs> he come to set you free from all of the things that had you bound. You are of God. You have repent of your sins. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That qualify you to be saved, sanctified, and you have an opportunity to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. It's a free, he give it to you. All you got to do is accept it. Accept it like it's your birthday and he's giving you a present. It's free. When you receive the Holy Ghost, then the Lord will automatically speak to you. You're going to have a discernment in your spirit that's going to lead you and guide your thinking. You're going to be able to think right. Think heavenly. Think soberly. Think righteously. And it will cause your faith to soar. Are you ready to receive that? Father, in the name of Jesus, move by your spirit. I speak Julia name into the atmosphere. And I'm asking you right now to bind Satan on every side. Lord, cover her now. Protect her and shield her from the hands of the enemy. Heal her body. Save her soul. Fill her with your Holy Ghost. Let a change take place now. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for a change in her thinking. A new mind. A new spirit. Out with the old. In with the new. In the mighty name of Jesus. Change the way she sees things. Change the way she go about doing things. Let your spirit arrest her spirit. Move by your spirit. In the mighty Satan, we plead the blood of Jesus against you. This is God's child. This is God's children. Not only is this his creation, but this is his daughter. And we stand for her. We stand with her. We connect our faith with her faith. And she's going to have a new mind. She's going to feel your spirit. She's going to feel your anointing. She's going to feel your power. In the name of Jesus. God, we're going to give you praise. We're going to give you glory. In Jesus' name. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. healing that you are receiving you have to understand that this is coming through me from God to your spirit so before I pray for you I need your spirit to be clean God don't bless in a mess if you just come in for a healing for your body and not wanting to serve God for it God is not going to heal your body. This day and time that we are living in are perilous times. 
You got to be real with God in order for God to be real with you. Ain't no use in me praying for you if you're not going to believe God and live for God. The healing that we are calling for is an anointing from heaven that's going to destroy the works of the enemy. It can do it easily, but it will depend on your place with God, your relationship with God. Are y'all understanding me? God want to heal you. He want to deliver you. But you got to be conditioned for the condition. Y'all ready to fight? Because that's what it's going to take. You're going to have to fight your way out of this thing. Your condition is not going to give up. But you can give it up. But you're going to have to fight in the spirit. That means you got to walk up right. That means you got to live right. Come on now. Don't waste my time and God's time. If you ain't real about it, you might as well sit down. It's a hard way to talk, but God is real and he mean business. Are y'all ready for it? I say, are y'all ready for it? Father, in the name of Jesus, you see his condition. We're asking now for a supernatural healing to take place in his body. Destroy the yokes of the enemy. Though he may feel pain, though the flare-ups may come, Though the symptoms may exist, we decree and declare uh, that his body is healed. By your stripes, uh, he is healed. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we ask you uh, to touch him now. Uh, from the crown of his head uh, to the soles of his feet, you know his condition. Uh, move now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Destroy the yokes now. In Jesus' name, it is so. Receive it. Receive it. Yes, sir. Receive it. Yes, sir. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. Y'all ready to fight. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your servant. We thank you for your longtime friend. Huh? But you know this brother. Huh? You know him by name. Huh? We ask that you move now. Move in his body. Elevate his mind. Elevate his Destroy the yokes of the enemy. Everything that comes as a distraction from him going to the place that you are calling him to go. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus against him. We ask him now for a healing for his body. Heal now. Destroy the yokes. Lord, we take off the yokes of the enemy and we put on your yoke for your yoke is easy and your burdens are light move now destroy the yoke now in the name of do it now in the name of Jesus do it now God daughter now. You see her condition. You know her heart. She desired to be healed. Meet her now at the point of her knee. Touch her now from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Let her healing virtue begin in her body. In the name of
The devil. The devil. This is the pure devil that's coming against your body. It's the pure devil. The Lord says, you can be free. You can be free. Every time, seems like you're coming out, something just pull you back in. The condition seems to come back. I hear the spirit say that. I don't even know what the condition is. But God knows. But tonight, he's going to set you free. I want you to elevate your thinking. Forget about what the path, what happened in the path. This ain't the path. This is the future. Your healing is now. Your healing is now. Your deliverance is now. God touch your spirit. Cause her body to line up with her spirit. Cause her body to be healed. Let it obey as you touch your spirit. Touch your body, God. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. We are calling deliverance into her body now. We are calling for deliverance to take over now. This is your daughter. Heal, 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 heal.
Hallelujah. Pastor Wright, come here a minute. God sent me here. I didn't know you was here tonight. Like you asked them, you got your gloves on tonight? I want to pray for you. You need a healing. You need a healing for your foot. So the doctors don't know what's wrong. And every time you go back, they try something and it don't work. God works. We're going to try Jesus tonight. This is going to be in a way that you never, hey, baby, ever did it before. A supernatural healing. Hey, baby, Come through the power of God. I didn't hear where God say you were and all of this great stuff. And I don't think it mattered. You're in the right place at the right time. There was a man sitting by the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. And every time the angels would come a certain time of the year and trouble the water. And those that got in there first were healed. I see God put you by a healing. You can consider this the pool of Bethesda. The angels have already troubled the atmosphere. The healing, that lady that there right there, she's healed. That's why she can't sit down because she's healed. Tonight it's time for you to be healed. I want you to be healed. You ready for healing? Try a supernatural healing. Hallelujah. Do you trust God can do it? I need you to know. I need you to know without a shadow of a doubt that God can do it. You'll go there with me. Would you go there with me? Hallelujah. Let me have your hand. Would y'all put your hands on me? Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, you know this condition. We've been to the doctor many times and got the same results. These things are having the doctor a sound because they can't find a healing. But we know a man named Jesus. We thank you for coming our way. Just like at the man at the pool of Bethesda that stood there all that time. Could have been healed 38 years ago had he just rolled over in the pool. Tonight we ask her, just as you ask him, Will you be healed? Tonight, take up thy bed and walk. Take up thy anointing and walk. Take up thy faith and walk. For the healing of the Lord is upon your body. We command your body to be healed now. We are taking second. Devil, we command you to take your hands off of her. Take your hands off of her leg. Lord, we ask now that you cancel the assignment of every demon huh, that he assigned to her. Huh. We break down the walls. Huh. We pull down the stronghold. We cast down the imagination in her mind. Huh. She is ill. She is ill. In the name of yeah. to get to know him. I don't know. There, there are some more of you that need to come up for prayer for something. I don't know what it is. But if you want to be delivered tonight from whatever it is, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, whether, I don't know what it is. Well, I don't care what it is. 
The Lord said, make your way down here. Now this come with condition because if you don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sins, now's the time to sign up. To write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. I respect the fact those of you that will take your case out of the doctor's hand, out of the lawyer's hand, out of the hands of all these people that got all this stuff and you still sick and you're still going through and you're still having problems. God is a deliverer of everything. He's one of those medicine way back west one, one dose of medicine cure all. You can take it for pain. You can take it for the virus. You can take it, take it to get stain out your clothes. God got a stain remover that will stain, remove the stain of sin. It don't matter what you got, he got it. But the mere fact that you come tonight, we're going to join our faith with your faith. He said where two or more agree in his name, there he will be in the midst. And when he comes, he's bringing everything with him that we need. Y'all believe that tonight? Y'all ready for it? I've been on you before. Sometimes some people fall out. I don't get a chance to know them after. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're asking you right now, whatever the situation is, Father, for every child, for the wife, oh God, in the household, <laughs> let your divine power let your anoint saturate the whole property. Everything that the devil can conquer. Everything that the devil dismantle. Everything that the, the visible eyes can't see. The secret things. <laughs> the secret things. <laughs> Father, we plead the blood of Jesus against it. Ah, for his diligence, oh God. To obey your will, to his diligence, to yearn for deliverance for his family. God move. We plead the blood of Jesus against everything that his hand touch, everything that his mind is concerned about. Father, we are decreeing and we are declaring now that the power of God. Is gonna come in like a rushing mighty way. Save God, set free God, renew their strength, rekindle the fire, rekindle the union in the mighty name. We call forth the angels of all high.
of the Lord, even down to your sight, even down to your levels, even down to the illness that you carry in your body. God said, because I have my hand on you, you remain. <laughs> Devil done tried his best. He done put his bit forward. I remember when you said you drove your brand new truck down into the ditch 
and the Lord wouldn't even let it get a structure. Tonight, he wants to emphasize that the work he has for you to do has to carry on. You not by yourself. Everybody that was with you is still with you. In fact, you can add me to the equation because I'm with you. We fight the devil together. Healing is in God's hand. Deliverance is in God's hand. Keep on moving. Don't stop. Don't stop. Preach when they were on hand. Preach when they were on hand. Teach the word of God. Do your dance. Your anointing. There's anointing in your feet. Every time you dance, somebody can feel the anointing. Every time you move, it's in your mind.
yourself. Forget about who's around you. Give God some true praise. Let him know that you appreciate him. Let him know that you believe in him. Let him know that the devil is a liar. 